Hey, welcome to Monday. It is MCU Monday, and so we're taking a look at the Circuit Playground Express from Adafruit. This is an awesome new little board. Uh, you might have seen the Circuit Playground itself before, and this is a slightly updated and improved version. So uh, there's a few key differences, which are basically you can program it more ways, which is very exciting. Uh, and also there's infrared input and output. Uh, as far as I can tell, those are the main differences. So taking this from the top, we've got an on LED uh, indicator that's green, a red controllable LED connected to pin D13, uh, and then obviously a little ring of NeoPixels, which uh, you know do RGB, individually controllable, beautiful colors. Uh, you've got six power pins, uh, which are evenly distributed around here. And then the other eight are all controllable. So each of those, uh, seven of those can do capacitive touch inputs, and the other one can do a true analog out symbol, uh, signal if you're looking to do, for example, music with it. Um, we have other options for music as well, actually. There's a little speaker on here, uh, down here. And then, let's see, moving on from the top, we've got a light sensor, we have a temperature sensor, um, these are both pretty standard so far. We've got a couple of buttons. We've got uh, transmitting and receiving for infrared. Those are those two little guys in the center there. Uh, an accelerometer, which is the same as the old one. It has shake detection and tap detection. Um, a little microphone down here. And a slide switch that you can use to control stuff. Uh, super cool. So I've actually spent a little bit of time messing around with this on the online editor today. Uh, you can use Microsoft's Make Code Block Editor, which is similar to Scratch or other starting out sort of visual drag and drop programming systems. Uh, but the same editor includes JavaScript, so you can switch over between the two, which is really cool. You actually like you can make it in the block editor, then switch over to the JavaScript view and edit it there if you want, and then switch back and forth. Um, so that's a really great way to sort of have a foolproof introduction to coding. Uh, very cool and very low pressure for the beginner. Uh, I'm going to switch this on. Uh, we're going to get these little red lights. And then this is a light pattern that I've coded. Uh, I'll actually do another video in a little bit um, showing how to program your own one. Uh, they have a beautiful little visual editor for deciding the colors of the LEDs. It's very clever. And if I hit A, then we're going to do a... Um, a light effect and a sound effect. I'm going to see if this comes through. So if you couldn't hear it, I'm going to do it again down here so that we get the microphone. It's very adorable. Uh, they have a few little pre-programmed sounds and that's the sort of one-up noise. Um, yeah, and then if you shake it, uh, oh no, my power went out. Come on. Power sources are always a huge consideration with this kind of thing. And then if you shake it, then it's going to do a little rainbow effect. It's very short, though. Got to modify that. Anyway, yeah, so maybe that's something that we'll mo monkey around with in a couple hours when we come back and do the programming tutorial. And then, of course, I'll put that on as a getting started uh, tutorial on Hackster. Uh, just go to hackster.io, and if you look for the Circuit Playground Express, in a few hours, you will have your very own intro guide. Uh, ooh, rainbows, awesome. Yeah, sweet. Uh, so check out the Circuit Playground Express. It's currently sold out on Adafruit with good reason. Uh, they're looking, uh, for one thing, it's popular. For another thing, they are looking to make it available first off to makers and developers who have a little more experience because they're still developing uh, the Arduino libraries and things like that to make sure that it has like a flawless first experience for those who are true beginners. Uh, and once that's the case, I think this will be a great board for getting started. Like, the block code editor combined with JavaScript and Arduino functionality is fantastic. Uh, plus, with, as with things like the Makey Makey, you can um, use it as a plug-in keyboard, mouse, joystick, or a MIDI controller. Uh, so great for people getting started with music. You can power it with this little battery attachment JST connector there. Uh, and yeah. A really solid, versatile, and still tiny board. Uh, check it out. Thanks for watching.